One, two, three, four. A limited. They share the same genetic makeup. They look exactly the same. The world's first clones? Nah, they're hot twins. It's sweet, dude. I mean, that's every guy's fantasy. It's not only double the girls. Four guys just wasn't enough, so we're taking five. It's double the episodes. We know what these guys want. A little piece of the twin fantasy. Hello! Part one of the twin fantasy. Thank God my dreams have been answered. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, a limited. <laughs> I'm Deanne. And I'm Danielle. And we're twins from, from Newport, Newport Beach, Beach, California. California. <laughs> I would trade being a twin for the world. It's the best. It's good because you get to have a best friend with you all the time. Generally, we have the same taste in men, but ever so often we have a little bit of difference. I'm hoping to find a guy that's funny and just adventurous and active and always keep me on my toes and so that I never quite know exactly what's going to happen next. But I think most importantly, he's got to make me laugh. A limited. <laughs> we chose Hermosa Beach for our date because, well, first of all, this way we get to take a look at the guy's bodies. And it's just a fun place, a lot of people in the sun, and we both like the sun a lot. We decided four guys just wasn't enough, so we're taking five. That way we have a lot more opportunity. In round one and two, we're mutually going to decide who to cut. Then in round three, we have to make a choice, our final cut, and we each are going to be able to take home a guy. But if we like the same guy, it's going to be reversed, and he's going to have to pick between the two of us. Kind of scary. The guys think that they're just meeting one girl tonight, so we're going to surprise them. Lo and behold, I'm going to walk up after they've already met. We're going to see what their reaction is. Yeah. I think generally what it comes down to is women are looking for a guy who is real and a guy who is fun. And I think that I embody both of those things. Hi, my name is Mark, and I read scripts for the Academy of Motion Pictures, and women are impressed by that. Hi, how's it going? I'm Danielle. Hi. Hi. Mark. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Girls and me, we're like fishing. I don't even have to throw out my line. They're just automatically jumping on my pole, right and left. I'm Brett, and I'm a bartender from Newport Beach. Bartending's my life. I know how to bring a vibe to a party. This thing's going to be off the hizzy for shizzy. My name's Corey, and I'm an internet consultant from Orange County. Hey. How are we doing? <laughs> I'm Danielle. Hello. Corey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I get a hug. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Brett. I like fast women, fast cars, and I always got a beautiful woman on my side, so tonight I'm going to get along, baby. My name my name is Randy, but uh, everyone calls me Elvis, baby. You know, I got a little, look at that. I've been in LA about five months, and uh, you know, I really like the scenery, but I'm not sure too much about the scene. My name is JJ, and I'm a full-fledged mama's boy. Got her tattooed on my arm. What can I say? I love her to death. Oh, 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 hello. How are you doing? Good, I'm JJ. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Danielle. Nice to meet you, Danielle. What's up, Let's baby? See. Hey, I'm Mark. Mark, JJ. I'm Brett. Hi. Brett. Hi. JJ, what's up, I'm Danielle. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, then, oh, now that you guys are all here, I have oh, a little cool. surprise for you. What's our surprise? Um, we what's have, up? it's and not Mark. just me. We have a little surprise. Right. Here it comes. Oh, she oh, got you a gift, sweetheart. Oh, oh, why don't you give it to her? Because I got a gift, too. What in the heck? This is Deanne. And why don't you all introduce yourself? Uh, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, you guys all got two sets of flowers. I am Mark. <laughs> Mark, nice to meet you. Mark, Mark, it's going well. Good. Well, when I saw that it was twins, I was like, thank God my dreams have been answered, you know? I first saw Danielle, and I knew, wow, she was hot. And then she brings her sister, and now I got twins? It's sweet, dude. I mean, that's every guy's fantasy to have two girls, let alone to be two twins. So we met the guys and shocked them with us being twins. We decided to walk down to the beach and get to know each other and just a little bit more about them. Well, why don't we guys start with uh, where, ch where you're all from and what you guys do? You want to start there, Dan? My name is Mark and I live in Beverly Hills and I read scripts for the Academy of Motion Pictures. Oh yeah? That sounds neat. Have you read any cool scripts? Yeah, I've read a few good ones. Most of them are bad, but occasionally you get, you get one that's pretty that good. Shit. When we first met Mark, I thought he was really shy, but there's something about him. And he had a good smile. Nobody cares where you're from. Nobody cares what you do, dude. Go home. Go back to Beverly Hills. How about you? Uh, well, I, you all know my name is Elvis. I work for this company, uh, and it's an herbal breast enhancement company. Wow. What? Don't laugh. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to women, 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 women call me up and they, and they want bigger boobs. And uh, there's a stuff, this pill, it's a herbal pill, and they take it. And uh, I mean, yeah. I'll, do you I'll think it, it really works? I mean, I've seen it work because the ladies, you know, they send me pictures, wow. like before and after, of like, here are my boobs. I mean, I don't Make I, it or with the top on? 
totally new. No, not totally new, but without a top Pretty one. Noon. Wow, Elvis breaking down the chest talk on the first five minutes of the day. Show a little class, pal. Great, what do you do? I'm a bartender in Newport Beach. <gasps> so am I. Right from your hey, hometown. Yeah, I live in Newport Beach. I know, I just heard from your uh, sister what, here. What, uh, where do you Fantastic. live? Fantastic. Live, exactly. I live in the house that my dad was born in, and uh, we just, we player buddies. My dad's my like best friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's my frequenter at my bar. His biggest drinking buddy is his dad. I thought it was kind of pathetic to be honest with you. Hotty. <laughs> nice eyes. Very cute face. Good, good build. And how about you? I work for uh, Luxury Edition Car Rental. I do sales for them. I live in West good. Hollywood. I'm from Minnesota though. I just moved out here like five months ago. From and Minnesota. just from, yeah, don't you know, up there in the north. So. How about you? Uh, I'm an internet consultant. I help companies like uh, mark themselves, get inside different industries. Hmm, this could be a possibility. I'll have to see a little bit more. I pretty much thought the same thing. Yeah, I thought he was he was cute. So like in, in high school, what were you guys, what would you have considered yourself in high school? I was a total dork in high school and I always considered myself a total dork, but for some reason everybody I thought I was cool. Are you still a dork now? Well, I think I am, but <laughs> yeah. for, for some reason everyone thinks I'm cool, so it uh, works okay. for me. Mark, you're not cool at all. I mean, you are a dork, and just stick with that, all right, bud? Are you, were you still Elvis in high school, or what? I guess that's where my nickname generated from, I guess, because I did a lot of impersonations in the talent shows and all that. Come on, just because you like the impersonation now, that way we all see right, something right. we look for tonight. Kind of goes a little something like this. Wow. Couldn't be more annoying. Elvis, stop compensating for a small wee wee, all right, dude? Go get a haircut and get a life. Do you think you get all the women because you're Elvis? Or no, what? no, 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 no. It's nothing like that. It's just a I'm a love me, hate me kind of guy, and you either love me or you hate me. If I had to choose between love and hate, I'd, I'd hate on Elvis. I can definitely learn to hate you. Hater! In high school, I was like, I was a jock, you know, I played football and I wrestled. Wrestled for four years. I was a really good wrestler. Do you think we could take him, Dan? We could definitely take Let's him. Let's do it. <laughs> come on, so I'm ready to go. Okay. Come on. We're gonna, are we gonna wrestle? Come on, we're wrestle. Gonna, wrestle ladies, ladies, come on. Let's do it, Dan. Yeah. Come Let's on. do it. I wanted to get them in the sand and roll around a little bit, you know, cop feel. Okay, okay. What do I start? Oh, Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, 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 no. That oh, was pretty oh, dang yeah. easy. I oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. She didn't really even need my help. <laughs> Elvis, if you want physical contact, bro, ask for a massage or something like that. Don't ask for them to kick your ass in public. I don't know what happened. Sand in the eyes. I'm not making excuses, but the brutes. First of all, I can't even wrestle. Secondly, no, there is no secondly. It speaks for himself. He's Elvis. Coming up, more first round action. And later on Elimidate. We know what these guys want. What all guys want. A little piece of the twin fantasy. So we decided to give it to them. Just a taste of it. Elimidate. Round one of the Twins Fantasy Show continues. After we shook the sand out, we decided to go to Patrick Malloy's and get a drink and loosen them up a bit. And some of them really needed it. <laughs> Have you guys ever dated twins before? No. Yeah. Not at the same time. Fantasy, no? but never. Yeah, happened. fantasy. Oh, you have. What guy in his right mind does not want to date two pretty blondes? Every time you go to bed, you date uh, twins. Lovely. Oh, hey, Brett, get your pen and paper out, bro, because your lines are weak. You can take some of mine. I ain't got no copyrights on them. Okay. Who do you guys think here is the most annoying? Yeah. This guy, I've seen him out before in Newport. Whatever. Have you? Yeah, totally. Cool guy. Uh, Elvis, he's got his own thing going on. Too easy to rip on him, but he seems like he's pretty solid in what he is, so I, I respect that. JJ, kind of a nervous dorkiness about him, but he seems like a cool guy, and you haven't said more than two words, so I don't even know anything about you. I don't judge you yet, so. Let's, let's let him yeah, talk, then. Let's, totally. let's check you out. So Go for it, tell us. I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm not really the type of guy who really gets a lot out of going to bars and stuff like that. And, uh, no, but basically, you know, I listen to talk radio and I, I'm more into intellectual pursuits, you know. I'm from Beverly Hills and I, I'm smart and intellectual, but that's a bunch of crap. Anybody that listens to talk radio has issues from the start. Whether it's the company of the guys or the girls, I'm not really sure, but he's definitely not enjoying himself. Have any of you guys had the sex on the very first date? Of course. Uh, 
<laughs> I am okay. such the honest person, so I'm going to say yes, I have. Yeah? Yes, I have. I was a virgin until uh, last year, so, I mean, and it took a little while, but, no, you know. Was that the question? you can admit that. Well, you have your sister doesn't count, bro, neither does your cousin, all right? I love women, but I'm not a slut. <laughs> if you guys were each to take us out on a date, like, what would you guys do? Just, Just you and the two of us. No. How would you keep us together? Together. Both entertained? Both yeah. entertained. Yeah, like, how would At you keep us together? So I think one of the most important, important thing is, like, good conversation. You know, you guys both seem very outgoing, intellectual, so, like, Doing nothing and Falls doing like there, activity at the same time would be fun, you know. Dude, you talk forever. I do. <laughs> I I know you guys you should not talk to me. You guys sandwiching me on a wave right now. Yeah. You know. Get it over with. Tell them what they want and move on. I think he was covering all of his bases, definitely. But then again, a lot of what he said was pretty kind good. of boring. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you want to be kind of secluded, what we can do is we can skydive. No? Just sound like, sorry, bro. Sorry. That's I mean, kind of expensive, dude. Ah, come on, Elvis. Doesn't, doesn't, who cares? Look, throw this guy out of a plane. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Back to the expensive thing. So, are you on a date? Are you more of going through the not so much money? Like, are you gonna pay for a date, or are you more for the girl kind of sharing the wealth? Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good cook, so I prefer to make dinner on a first date. And now, if we go on a date later on, are you gonna be the kind to say, "No, I'll take care of it," or are you gonna pay for it? Got it? I don't pay for sex. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's very tactful, pal. Maybe next time you should have your uh, mind on your date and not in your Do you guys, have you ever like fantasized about having twins, you know? And well, of course, I, I mean, I, I wish that one of them would yeah. be. Any guy that said he is a liar yeah, or he was a Or have you girls ever fantasized about sharing a guy? Never. Oh, yeah. Never? <laughs> Never. Well, I don't think we do. Would it get too know. competitive or what? Usually do. twin no, sisters. I want them all for together. me. You know, I, I would make a Brett sandwich me. out of Deanna and Danielle. On You'd make a Deanna and Danielle sandwich? Are we gonna be yes. the buns? I, you would you girls, you already know you have cute buns, but you'd be the buns. <laughs> and I would be the meat, of course. What so. kind of meat? <laughs> Top sirloin, baby. <laughs> this guy has been spitting game. And I'll tell you what, it's second to none. Second to none, like it's crappy, okay? Brett, he's cute. And every so often I see that kind of like cuteness and you like Yeah, but I think he's yeah. trying really hard. I think so too. Coming up, who will Danielle and Deanne cut first? I'm going between two still. I was definitely I'm sure about what you want. That's really? A limited. <laughs> Who do you think Deanne and Danielle will cut first? Elvis, Mark, JJ, Fred, or Corey? Okay guys, this was very hard for us to do, but we have decided to get rid of Mark. I'm sorry, Mark. Mark. You know, you were a great guy. You were a little rude at times, and there was the point about the whole sex thing. It was kind of out of... We have, we've kind of arranged something for you. Since you're too cheap to pay for a nice date, we'd like to send you home. <laughs> and here's your cab fare. Oh, Sorry. Oh, nice Sorry. Oh, that's okay. There's plenty more okay. tennis players out there. But thank you, Mark. And it was Everybody nice meeting you. Okay, Take it easy. <laughs> Beverly Hills. Bye. Bye. Like, no shakes for you. Hey guys. Hey guys. You didn't shake well, my hand. You didn't shake my hand either. We cut Mark because, well, he was cheap, and we're not into cheap guys. And second all, to he didn't it. say anything all night long. I think they gave me the dollar to be insulting, but I'm gonna use it to buy a candy bar or something, so I'll have the last laugh. Girls, you made a good decision to get rid of Mark. He was rude, never put up with that. And Elvis hasn't left the building, baby. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed, but what the hell, I'll live. In round two, we all changed clothes and headed out to dinner. And just to remind you who's who, Deanna's in the purple shirt, and me, Danielle, I'm in the blue. I think when both the girls walked out, they were amazing. Twins were banging. Total flip-flop from earlier in the day. I didn't know they were hiding midgets in there. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Oh, that's, that's good. There's some boobies there for Please. you. Are you guys ready? Where we go? Let's go. We're going to walk over this way. Oh, yeah. Obviously, they don't need any herbal breast enhancer if you know what I'm talking about. Hello, hello. Do you guys all like sushi? Sushi. I don't like mm -hmm. anything you feed me. So oh yeah. And Brett wants more than sushi. He was staring down at both of Danielle's friends, and I just thought he wanted a little bit more than dinner. We brought the guys over to Club Sushi to get an idea of how wild they could get, see their personalities, and what kind of food they like. 
Deanne was the one sitting just beside me, and Danielle was in the blue sitting across. I was pretty glad that I figured that out too. Have you guys ever done anything wild in public? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's the, what's the... I went skinny dipping in the daytime at a majorly populated hotel with a couple of friends. Did anybody stop you saying well, that? Everybody, I mean, kids were, heads were turned and everything. I mean, it was a little wild, but kids. it was... Well, I mean, there was every Come kids, on, adults, man. people. Oh, shut up. Right. I what was your... I want to know my Wait, here's his. Here's his. Oh, wait, so, okay, we'll get back to you. He had sex at Disneyland. What? On the back side of the Matterhorn, like the face of Space Mountain was like a little area. When it was Mr. moving? Toad's no, 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 no. Uh, in the open area. Uh, okay. like, like, was there a chance of getting caught? Oh, definitely. There were like people walking by. What'd they like, do? Uh, oh, so sorry. Yeah, how's it going? Like, just pretend like we were looking at the fountains right there. Okay, so they didn't realize what you were actually doing. No, there was one couple that like noticed what they were doing. The guy just kind of went like this. I'm just like, think that I'm going to believe that you're going to be sitting there plowing some girl in front of nine and ten year olds on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? I think not. All right, obviously we're talking about the whole sex thing and this is going to come up like where is the craziest place that you girls have ever had sex? Good call, Elvis. Right? You gotta know. I was thinking you know. somebody had to know say that. Gotta know. Okay. I have never had sex no in a crazy place yet. Yeah, I have I not. No. That. Are you no, guys, have you guys have... been? Have you guys had sex before? Doubt it. All right, when anybody tells you that they slept with one or two guys, multiply that by four, all right? I just can't wait to show these girls what they're missing. Like, now, if you found uh, the right guy you know? to lose it to, then how would... long would you want to date him before you lose it? When I think, the time I think is it right. depends. Yes, exactly. It depends. Right. I don't think you can you say. Know how, many, how about if it was like me? It was like you? Right. <laughs> uh, never. Three wrong. years? The word never come to mind. Oh, ah, man. I Infinity. What? What are you going to do? The guy is a buster, dude. Wherever he came from, whatever rock he came from under, he should go back and bury himself even deeper so he doesn't get out again, all right? I'm doing my own thing. I don't care what they're saying. I'm Elvis, and that's all to it. So they can go screw themselves. OK, I want to know, but we already, who can do, you guys got to do something for us, okay. the most creative thing. And then in return, we'll give you a small twin fantasy. Whoever can do the most creative, like just think, like a dare. We're willing to give a little piece of a twin fantasy. What do you want to see? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, be creative. You know we needed to give him some kind of fantasy. A little double kiss. Yeah. Guys go wild about that. And I was like, screw this, man. I want the reward, you know? Here. Yeah, right, JJ's got something. Let's see it. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, watch the food on the table. <laughs> <laughs> JJ decided his little trick would be a little dance and he put his pelvis right on my head. I was kind of like, whoa, bucko, what are you doing there? Oh, scary. <laughs> Dan seems to get a lot of that from him. <laughs> he definitely defined the word pathetic right there. It looked like a mama bird regurgitating for her babies. It made me sick. I was going to hurl. I want to see what this <laughs> twin fantasy is all about. I think mean, JJ be impressed. We decided JJ definitely deserved the twin reward. Come here. I had to. Come on. Oh, oh, so yeah. Felt like I had won that Stanley Cup or that NFL championship. Oh. <laughs> How far will the twins take this kiss? Tune in tomorrow to find out.